Yo. No problem. We wanted to come here and see this. See this Golden Gate Bridge. And we actually ended up seeing a little bit more than we wanted to. And then there was this guy and discovered it and then he was um sewing for gold and then other people from all around the world why did they put the bridge there so people could get into the water oh wait no 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 so cars could come over fact check oh dang that was actually really close no 1937 is when it was completed oh it's 1.7 miles long. At its completion, it was considered an engineering marvel, the longest main suspension bridge span in the world. Yeah. It's all out there. Yo. No problem. We wanted to come here and see this. Um, wait, where is it? We wanted to come here and see this Golden Gate Bridge. And we actually ended up seeing a little bit more than we wanted to. I just looked up and verified, um, Baker's Beach has a nude section and that's right behind us are uh, many nude people. So we're not going to go over that way anymore. We're going to let them get their sun on this uh, not so sunny, cold <laughs> day. <laughs> hey boys, come on over this way. So. We're gonna take some pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge, but check out Baker's Beach. But if you come with your family, you may wanna stay on the clothed section, unless you guys um, do what you want. After we saw more than we bargained for at Baker's Beach, we headed downtown to the Fisherman's Wharf. Down here, you can get fresh fish, you can get clam chowder, you can get so many amazing foods in the open market area. We ended up at a place called Boudin's, I think is how you say it. And it's a bakery where they bake their bread fresh. And it actually goes around the ceiling on like a conveyor belt and then drops down behind the kitchen so they can use it for the clam chowder bowls and things like that. So that was a great place to eat some local catch. After that, you can walk off your food, head past Alcatraz Island and go to Pier 39. This is an outdoor pier with shops. They have fresh fruit there. We visited a magic shop and checked out some of the magic tricks that they had going on there. It was a really cool visit for the kids. The, one for the, um, the book one is uh, five book If you walk all the way to the end of Pier 39 and turn the corner, you might start to hear some sort of strange noises. And as soon as we turned the corner, we found out exactly what that was. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, these sea lions were funky. They stunk. Some of them were way too big. Like, I don't think they really moved from that spot, like unless absolutely necessary. And they're really sort of territorial. It's like someone else comes up like, hey, could I sunbathe here? And they're like, you don't want to get too close to these guys, I don't think. For anyone interested in the RV aspect, we stayed at San Francisco RV Resort in Pacifica. And it is right on the water, like right, right on the water. You can watch the sunset every single evening. It is absolutely beautiful. Connected to the RV resort, there's a path that went along the coast that was great for biking, walking, visiting the beach. It was an amazing spot, highly recommend. One other thing that we did while we were in San Francisco was visited Carrie's cousin Conway, and he showed us a really, really cool food truck place. If you're not following us on Instagram, do that now. I made a video of the highlights of that food truck park on our IGTV, so go check it out. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and follow the page. You can also hit those three buttons there and click follow, then see first so you never miss one of our videos.